Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Bearded Mike, and we're going to be talking about ColecoVision, as you can see about the ads behind me. ColecoVision, if those people who don't know, has quite the cult following on this very short amount of time that it was the game was released. Remember, this system was out in the 82, 83, and 83 came out with a crash happen. So, it's kind of interesting that such a cult following happens, and also, there's a whole bunch of games out there that are yet to be discovered. Here's a few of them that were never released. So anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. And just to let you know, it took me a while to get all the settings properly. Um, of course, if you know my channel, I'm using OBS. I've used it for ever since I started the channel almost. And sometimes it would flicker, but I think I got the settings perfect, so it doesn't flicker on you. And you can enjoy the game of these never released back in the day. Like, this one was released in 2009. They found the prototype and re-released it in a small batch. I don't consider that being released when the uh, ColecoVision was out. So anyway, we're going to be playing Fireman. Takes a little bit low. Yeah. So the idea is you have to fight the fires. So if you see those little, I guess there's a triangle with a little um, circle above them or an oval, is that's where the hose is. And then if you notice, the hose starts following me only a certain amount. Like the hose is only so long. I got right on the fire. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll make it. Can I make it? No. See, I uh, lost the connection. Go get another one. So anyway, thank you very much for the nice comments of my other video telling me please get better soon and some suggestions on how to treat my cold thank you very much it was sweet and it's rinse and repeat anyway so it's a little fun game i think uh too bad that i missed out on the what the heck is that what are you um never mind That starts the fires? Does he start the fires? At least I can take care of him. Come on. Oh, they're candles and, and stuff that actually causes the fires. Uh, well, that's not very helpful. Come on, candle. Come on. There we go. Only 5% of the building was destroyed. Um, no. I can walk through the fire. No. There we go. I can walk through the fire. Come on. Oh, it takes a while. This city, we built this city on rock and roll. So anyway, I'm not a hundred percent not sick. Feels like I wrestled with a bear. It's particularly nasty. What happens if I actually? Never mind. 
Can I hit him? Oh! Oh, he gets hit. Oh. All right. Mental note. You can't hit these doohickeys. Come on. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> he gets stunned for a second. And oh, 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 oh. You don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. All right. I'm running out of building. Ah, oh, come on. Wonder if we're able to get enough. There we go. So I'm going to switch to the other game. Actually, you know what? I don't think this guy. All right, there you go. So, I'm going to try another game here. This one is Dig Dug. Oh, and oh, there it goes. Took a little bit for the software to pick it up, but let's see. I'm going to go with... Uh-oh. That's not good, that's not good. It's not showing up. Alright, let's try. Sorry. Um, game capture. Let's try this again. There. Alright. Sorry. This kind of like, this is one of the harder emulators to uh, capture. Because every, every emulator has like a little bit of um, his own idiosyncrasies. Idiosyncrasies. And oh boy, I'm playing them. Alright. All right, that's cool. Uh... Ah, crap. Ah, gotcha. Ah, Mr. Firebreath, eh? Oh, you're not so big, tough guy now. <laughs> Man. Weird, weird game. I always thought I love Dig Dug, but I always found it really weird. 
What a weird concept. And it's been around for years, like... Ah. Uh. Gotcha. What if they're in a boardroom and they're trying to think of games? And I like to be in the boardroom or whoever invented Dig Dug. Um, how about a guy that digs, kind of like Pac-Man, but he digs tunnels instead of being in a maze? Okay, uh, the monsters are dragons and whatever. Okay, how would you kill them? We can't do the pellets there anymore. Uh, you blow them with a pump. Oh, no, 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 no! I think this was Atari Soft too. I have done a video about Atari Soft. If you're interested, I will see if I can find it. I know it's one of my videos. It's an older video, but I go into the details of Atari Soft about their history. Of, they have a really weird history. Oops, 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 oops. Come here, come here. No, no, no. I'm gonna wait till the dragon comes. This is a trick. I thought so. Oh, I smacked him. Because Atari Soft was responsible for all the ports to the different systems. Oh boy. And they're competitive systems, too. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm done. This is a big game. This is a complete game. This was never released, but this is a complete game, which is unfortunate. All right, so let me close that. And I'm going to remove this. And then uh, this is a game that's just a demo, so I, I can't really do anything because it doesn't allow me. But this is called The Sword and the Sorcerer. And all it does is this. Well, I, I can't control him. He'll move this way. Kill the snake. And then, yeah. And then kill the wizard. And I'm assuming eventually he saves the girl. And that's it. Like, that's the whole demo. Like, 1983. That was a demo. Never released game. Too bad. I just wanted to show you that. It was kind of interesting that they just... I guess maybe this was released on a... Um, like a um, like one of those electronic fairs for people to get interested in the system. And these are the new upcoming games that are coming out. This is what we have. Look at all the cool gr graphics. It's better than Atari. See, I think that's what this demo means to show people what's these graphics remember this is 1983 so that's why i want to show you it was kind of interesting so i'm going to close that and the last game i want to show you doesn't have sound but it's joust all right i forgot to sync up all right let me let me do that again I keep forgetting to do that Boop. 
All right, now everything's synced up. Oh, it's a two-player game too. Sweet. So it's Joust. There's nothing much to talk about, but it's a pretty ah uh, ah uh, nice suck. Uh, come on, I do practice before I start these videos now. I do practice, believe it or not. Did I die? All right, cool. Oh, this will be a pain in the butt for to play on those uh, ColecoVision controllers, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No. Get the egg. Man, I am feeling sore. I feel like I wrestled with a bear. From all the coughing and stuff. Ah. Oop. Come on. Like this game would have been done just when they added sound. That's all that was left. And if you notice, you know I should have noticed there. If all these games came out in '83, '83 was the video game crash. So it makes sense that none of these games were released, because why would you, if nobody's buying the systems anymore? I think the demo was 1983. I think all these games, oh, I think one of them was 84. Wow, I was a little better on that level. Oh, here comes the lava. I remember that level. Always the third level is the lava. Lava, hot lava. Whoa, I'm on a roll and I'm not. <laughs> oh, you mother. Oh, that's, come on, that was dirty. That's some dirty plan. Alright, thy game is over. Fine. Anyway, these are unreleased games for your ColecoVision. I'll put a link below so you have a flashcard. I would check these some of these games out. Let me know if you do. And uh, I'm glad you're here and to enjoy this video. I'm glad that you're here. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like to give me a thumbs down, and any feedback will be appreciative. Until the next video, this is Peter Mike, signing off.